Hi again. Okay, this time I want to answer a question by John Otto. Hi, John. And so I'm going to read it to you first, okay? Uh, I know this question does not relate, but I wanted to know what type of experiences can you have while you're on the other side? Here we have a body that can experience pleasure through all five senses. Can we experience the same pleasures there? Does that mean we also have a body when we are dead? What would be the main differences? Thanks, and I appreciate the videos. Okay, this one um, can't even come close to explaining what you can do on the other side, but I'm in the mood to play a little bit, so, and I get to go to the other side whenever I talk about this, so I'm going to talk about this. It is difficult to explain, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. All right, so to me it's hilarious that you say, well, here we have a body with five senses. You have a body with five senses and scientific data proves that those five senses are really 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 limited so not only do you have very limited senses but I mean you only have five of them which is very very few but they're very very limited senses so and I you know the reason for that is if you had any more than that um, it, it, you would undoubtedly connect to the rest of the planet around you and you would flip out of amnesia fast. So it was another part of the game to keep um, keep the gods in amnesia. Alright? So. Now I'm going to go over this again because this confuses people a lot. When you die, most people, a lot of people that I've seen, they die but they stay within this game this game of contrast because you can absolutely leave the body and stay within this gigantic game it is huge and it's not even that big as far as games go it's kind of on the small side but it's still from a skin suit perspective it is huge and a lot of people get sidetracked whenever they die and they never um, they don't get out of the game they stay in, in places in the game and there's a lot of places that you can go in the game. But that's not what we're going to talk about here. What we're talking about is true dead. Dead, dead. Outside the game, dead. So that I'm, whenever I left, I left any correlation with these, this game of contrast, of linear time space, of duality, of any of that. Gone. I'm back into source completely. And I spent the most of my time in that state. Uh, it did not take me very long to move through and out of the game. Um, once I got out of the game, uh, it, take me, it took me a little bit to merge back within, within, with merge back to source. But people make that sound like I don't know, like it's oh, you merged with source. It's not that big a deal. It's really not. Uh, you can merge into source and come out of source at will. Like you walk from here to your kitchen and back. I mean, it's just not a big deal. You're dealing with gods here. And on the other side, you are not in amnesia anymore. When I mean, you're outside this game, no amnesia. Inside the game, there's amnesia. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pause and stick this in. Um, this has to do with the last video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I wanted to let people know that whenever these channelers are channeling these other entities, whether they're Jesus or their grandmother or, I don't know, Cleopatra, a lot of those entities are also in partial amnesia. They think that they really are Jesus. They really think that they are this religious being, just like you believed that you were a human on the planet. These entities believe that they are who they were created to be. So they are not lying. They are telling the truth from their perspective as well. Okay? So insert that in the other video. Okay, come back to this video. <laughs> okay, so on the other side, outside this game completely, outside, left the body behind. Now, me personally, this is the only life that I've had as a human. It is the only life that I will have as a human. I generally do not do physicality. Physicality has a large range from 
from very, very, very dense to not dense at all. Okay, let's give you an example. A human being, live, like you know of them, dense. A ghost, you see a ghost that you can see through who is floating down the stairs or you can see is a woman in a long dress. Not dense, but still physical. It's still physicality. It's just not as dense a physicality. Okay? I generally don't do physicality at all. And if I do, it's a very light dense. It is light in density. More like the ghost uh, physicality. Uh, or um, I like light. Uh, there's a lot of light around me. So it would be more like a, I don't know, bright, bright lights. Like coming out from a globe of light or a, a star of light with a being on the inside of it. That would be more what I would do. Um, and then, but this is the only dense one that I have. So, when you leave this and you go out and you go to the other side and you're done with the game, you're not playing the game at all, you're not reincarnating, you're not incarnating in any way, shape, or form to be anything a part of this game. You are out of this game completely. All right, and you're not playing in any games. You just left this game and then are hanging out. So, then what happens? Well, now you're sitting in Source, and many, 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 many options, infinite upon infinite upon infinite options are there for you to experience. Uh, almost everybody, after you've had a personal experience in a game of what, you take that knowledge, those feelings, and you incorporate it in your new creations, okay? So let's say that you were down here and you were a... a, a in the skin suit and you had a great time you loved it you love the five senses as they are and you really really like that experience well then you very easily can um, create it again uh, you want to have a uh, you want to go fishing by your favorite lake and and uh, walk down in the sand next to the water you want to um, be on top of a mountain and ski down the side? Do you want to make love with a beautiful woman? Uh, you can do all of that. And you can have it in perfect human 5D senses. You can have them, the senses in your mind, whatever it is you think perfection is. You can also heighten them. You can tune them up. You're God. You can have created an experience that you had on Earth. You can recreate it instantly to be exactly what you wanted. So let's say that you were on Earth and you had an event, let's say a date, with the love of your life that went wrong and then you lost her forever. You can recreate that date and recreate that whole life. And because you're outside of the game, you're not in linear time space. So you can create the whole thing in the now. If you want to. You can do anything that you want to do. You can... Uh, so you can have a body or not have a body. Most of the time, people do not go into skin suits like humanoid uh, or humans. They may be humanoid. They may look similar with two legs and two arms and a head. Uh, they might look like that, but uh, from there, there's just so many different things that you can do with that. And there's so many other options as well. So if you want to stay in the human form, you can certainly do that. Uh, you're a god. You can, have, you can take whatever form you like. You can also, instead of keeping five senses, you can encourage, I mean, you can um, create uh, many more senses, um, whichever you like. So you can go fishing along and, and smell the breeze and feel the relaxation and uh, watch the sky, whatever, all of those five senses, you can jack those up and you can add more. So you can have the experience that you had on Earth on steroids. Uh, point, uh, experience on Earth 2.0. Plus, 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 plus. And you can do that as much as you would like. Um, you can also tone it down. Uh, I don't know why anybody would do that, uh, but it could be done. You can do whatever you want. Now, it's very, very common for entities to, on the other side, 
to create bodies of some sort and to make love with those bodies. The love making can be very different than it is in here. Um, because this body only has five senses and there's so much amnesia, then it kind of limits the love making with the human skin suit in on the planet Earth to very uh, simplistic, uh, more animalistic uh, love making. So you can go on the other side. There's much, much more intense um, love making to be had. Much more. Uh, a lot of. You can also go to places. Now you're outside the game, so you can go to another game where you might go where there are entities that are extremely telepathic. You have te telepathy with somebody, and you make love with them with their body, with your body. You do it very much with your body and your mind. Uh, at the same time. Most of those places have a lot more senses in play than on Earth, and they are much more sensitive. So, uh, love making, uh, which is, I think what you were asking about, love making is much, much, much better. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, guys. It's just a lot better. And you can also, because I'm an energy being, you can also do the equivalent of making love on an energy level like you can merge energetically with each other um, if you're not in body form if you're pure energy and exchange that energy in subtle intricate ways that are extremely intimate and are extremely fulfilling for both people okay so here you have a limit. You are born with a certain body, male or female usually, and you have five senses and you have limited abilities as far as your God abilities and you've got to run around here and try to find a mate. Um, in a world where most of the time there's been zero on a one to ten scale of love vibration on the planet. Much more vibration of need, of uh, I need to find a mate. I need that person to help me be whole. I need, shoot, there's all kinds of songs about that. Um, on the other side, you don't need anybody. Uh, you've got that, like I said before, you don't give love away. You don't take love from anybody else. Um, you are, it's more like you have your love, they have, you have your beingness, which includes love and everything else, that has been a part of source that you've created over infinite, infinite um, time, even though there's no such thing as time. And that complex being that is you, the God that is you, is very unique and intricate. And you will share that with somebody else who's created a unique, intricate, detailed um, person as well. And you can do that with anybody, unlike here where there are rules, so, so many rules about who you share that with and um, how you do it. Well, on the other side, if you're not in another game, there's none of that because you're not going to be you're not going to be doing any procreating. Um, on the other side, if you're just playing around, now you absolutely can go to another game where they're in physical. You can meet and have a monogamous relationship if you'd like and raise children. You can have, well, whatever kind of relationship in physical. There, there are games that have them all. Uh, just go over and pick one. Um, split yourself in two and pick two. Uh, uh, you know, do anything you want, in other words. The feeling that is over there outside of this, I, there are no words for the the lovemaking, the intimacy, the freedom, the fun that is available outside this game on the other side. Uh, playing the other games, just hanging out in Source, just being. Um, it is an amazing, amazing feeling. I don't put the unconditional love at the top of the list like a lot of people do because on the other side when you really get dead dead on the other side it is just so a part of who we are
that it doesn't jump out and hit you in the face. When it jumps out and hits you in the face is if you die and you go to an entity that is like going here and boom, is throwing it at you. When you go to the other side, when you go to the other side on your own, then it comes from within. Nobody is smacking you with it at all. It comes from within and you remember and you become everything that you always were. And everything that you were missing, now it comes back, you remember. It didn't go anywhere. You were just blocked from accessing it. And all of that comes back. And unconditional love on a 10 scale is just a part of that. It's part of that. So it is that part of that. Uh, what I felt on the other side was coming back into who I am. Of me. Truly, truly me. Okay? Alright, so uh, if that spurred other questions, please ask. Uh, I love the questions uh, more than you guys can possibly know. I just love the questions. So keep on keeping on. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.